Union Steam Ship Company of New Zealand Limited, when there was no chance of confusion casually referred to as Union, Union Company, Union Steam Ship Company USS Co., or Union Line, was once the biggest shipping line in the Southern Hemisphere and New Zealand's largest private sector employer. It was incorporated by James Mills in Dunedin in 1875 with the backing of a Scottish shipbuilder, Peter Denny. Bought by shipping giant P&O around the time of the First World War it was sold in 1972 to an Australasian consortium and closed at the end of the 20th century. History James Mills had worked for Johnny Jones and his Harbour Steam Company. After Jones' death in 1869 Mills tried twice to float a Union Steam Ship Company of New Zealand Limited without attracting enough interest from local investors but in 1875 he found backing from Scottish shipbuilder Peter Denny in return for Union Steam Ship orders for Denny's Dumbarton Shipyard. The Denny built Hawea and Taupo, both then large by local standards, arrived in mid-1875 and entered service. Union Steam Ship took over the Harbour Steam Company's vessels on 1 July 1875. Topic local competition Union Steam Ship became a major shipping line dubbed the Southern Octopus with a near monopoly on trans-Tasman shipping. It steadily mopped up trans-Tasman and coastal shipping businesses including Anchor, Canterbury Steam, Richardson & Co. and Home. Trans-Tasman From 1889 there was three-way competition between Union Steam Ship, Hadart Parker and Tasmanian Steam Navigation Company on the Tasmanian routes Melbourne, Launceston, Hobart, Melbourne and Hobart, Sydney. TSNCO did not have other routes to absorb their Tasmanian losses and was bought out by USCO in 1891. The rivalry between USCO and Hadart Parker lasted to 1895 despite an earlier agreement in 1893. There was undercutting of fares and there were steamers shadowing each other from port to port. USCO's Rotomahana and Mararoa would sail alongside the Miora and Warumu, with other ships like the Te Ana and Manapouri sailing before and after and bracketing the Hadart Parker ships. The 1895 agreement between the two lines pooled the Auckland Sydney profits and losses. The Melbourne Launceston profits were divided four sevenths to USCO and three sevenths to Hadart Parker. The Sydney Hobart passenger trade was excluded, but the cargo and stock trade was divided two thirds to USCO and one third to Hadart Parker. Mark Twain criticised travel conditions on a Union Company ship in 1897 in his travel book Following the Equator. Mills was knighted in 1907 and raised to KCMG in 1909. He was a UK resident after 1907 and died in London in 1936. By 1914 Union Steam Ship had 75 ships. It was the biggest shipping line in the Southern Hemisphere and New Zealand's largest private sector employer. Topic P and O in 1917 P and O shareholders were asked to confirm their directors' prior purchase of Union Steam Ship with the information that USCO had a valuable coasting trade within New Zealand, connections with India and Australia, and a line of steamers running between Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. The Union Steam Ship fleet was described as 74 high-class steamers with a tonnage of 237,860 and of an average age of 12 years. Topic. Union Airways In the 1930s Union Airways of New Zealand was formed by Union Steam Ship and it built an air service through New Zealand. Union Airways was nationalised by the government in 1947 and renamed National Airways Corporation. Topic. Union travel Union Travel remained a substantial operation as travel agents and tour operators. Topic T North T Australian road transport business, Thomas Nationwide Transport, had a substantial road transport stake in New Zealand. 
With New Zealand investors TNT bought USCO from P&O in 1971, in 1990 Union Steam Ship operated seven ships, and was involved in ship management, tourism, real estate and other ventures. By 2000, the Union Bulk Barge made its last voyage. Briarly Investments At the end of the 20th century Briarleys bought all the shares, broke Union Steamship into components and sold up what it could. Union Steamship Company of New Zealand owned more than 350 ships and has been the subject of a number of books. Ferries Topic: Steamer Express Wellington to Littleton. Union Steamship began regular sailings between Wellington and Littleton in 1895, with the Penguin making two round trips a week. In 1905, this became a daily service year round. In 1933, the name Steamer Express was adopted for the service. Over the years a number of ships were used, including two Mayoris, two Wahinis, two Rangadiras, and a Hindmoa. TEV Wahini entered service in 1966 and foundered and sank at the mouth of Wellington Harbour in 1968. The TEV Rangadira entered service in 1972 and was withdrawn in 1976, bringing the Wellington Littleton Steamer Express to an end. Topic. Wellington to Picton In what has been described as a fatal mistake, Union Steamship announced in 1956 that the Tomahine was to be withdrawn from the Wellington Picton route in 1962 and unlikely to be replaced, despite an offer of a $3 million government loan. The designer of the replacement ferry GMV Aramoana recalled that the media said the whole thing was a red herring. Adding, in their view, if the Union Steam Ship Company couldn't make the service pay, railways definitely couldn't. Topic: Fleet. Topic: See also. Union Airways of NZ Limited. Union Lines Airline Subsidiary Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Topic External Links Article in 1966 Encyclopedia of New Zealand Article in Te Era Online Encyclopedia Union Steam Ship Company by Gavin McLean on New Zealand Ship and Marine Society Website Littleton Wellington Ferries NZ History.net. NZ Colour photo of ferries Rangadira and Maori at Picton in 1959